This is insane. <laughs> nah. The heck? How did that get up there? Anyways, though, what's good, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, we got some big stuff going on today. We're gonna have Sean in the vlog today. I'll explain everything in a few. Let me get away from all of this noise and stuff. So a company had reached out to me to do a review on their coilovers. They want to send me coilovers. And I honestly kind of said no. I didn't really say no, but I was like, I honestly just don't really need this right now. So I was just like, maybe another time. <laughs> because I didn't want to take my car apart to put coilovers on. It would be a lot of work and I hate doing suspension work. But as you guys know, Sean's girl brought an E36 a couple months back and it actually needs suspension because the switch on it is really bad. So I decided to take the coilovers that they're gonna send me and give it to Sean and his girl and we are going to be installing it onto his girl's car today. So I'm about to go get something to eat because I literally just woke up. I am so tired right now. I'm about to get something to eat and Get something from sean's crib because he wanted me to pick something up while he's at work so we're gonna do, do all of that and then meet up with sean and we're gonna start installing the coilovers on the e36 <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys can, <laughs> as you guys can see the suspension is busting the thing is is that like these roads are so smooth, you won't get the full effect. But in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Oh my god, <laughs> this man's evil. <laughs> so, we just met up with Sean, as you guys can see. We are currently in the E36, Desi's car, we should say. We're on the, on the back roads. Give you guys a little. A little test drive so you guys can see how bad the suspension is but basically there's a lot of body roll it's really bumpy there's some noises there's definitely some noises i thought that was in my car a little little baby burble well i thought the exhaust fell off low key <laughs> <laughs> we hope you know, at full lock, the fucking tire rubs the, the fender. Like, yeah, I can hear it. It's hard to see it on these roads, though, but you can tell them color good. Oh, maybe not that. Do that again? Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll definitely. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't want to do it. That's what I really didn't want to do. That's crazy. Check all of them. Oh, that one looks bad. I think that's just the tire. I knew the grinding sound was coming from that side. I just wanted to hold, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I really, I haven't done a wheel bear, but I'm still one, because you're going to do it. Uh huh? You guys, you guys heard this? You want me to do it? <laughs> it's not bad, but it's so annoying. So right now, Sean's about to take off all the wheels. And then after the wheels are off, we will, we're going to show you guys the coilovers that we got. Show off what you got. You gotta show off what you got. This ain't mine. It was your resources. It definitely was my resources, but. Oh, we got it. Yeah, so we got in the box, man. You guys, you guys could already tell from the, the label of the box, but we are gonna show you what's inside the box. Here we got some max speeding rod 
coilovers for the E36. These are supposed to be the newest ones, the, the best they have at dampening and all that stuff. I get to work. What do you mean get to work? I'm not doing this, <laughs> I'm doing the tires. Now, now it is. Does the adjustment matter? Because I'll throw them in just like this. Huh? <laughs> the adjustment. What about it? Does it matter? It doesn't matter? Does it matter how you want it adjusted? Just make it to stop. For now, I guess. All right. You know, man, it should be speeding like a... <laughs> 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 All right, so I guess I got coal over duty while Sean wow. changes all four of the tires, so... I'll bring you guys with me. I'm gonna do the rear first because I believe the rear is way more easier than the front. It's literally just this bolt right here, two bolts up top, and then that's the strut. And then I could just step down on this and remove the shocks. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We just took out the rear springs and we also loosened up the bottom bolts for these struts on both sides with Sean's help. And this shit mad loose. But anyways, we are in the back of the car now. I do have to remove this back carpet right here, which involves me unclipping these things right here on both sides. Got it. So now that I have that off. I can basically pull the carpet back. So because this car is so stock, I have to take damn near the whole interior out just to get to <laughs> the bolts that are behind here, bro. This is crazy. So out of all the E36s I've ever worked on, I've never seen strut towers this clean, let alone a trunk this clean. That's crazy. This is a Virginia car though, so that would make a lot of sense. So now that we have all the space in the world now, we can finally start loosening up these 13s back here and getting ready to drop these struts. So we just got the rear coilovers in. As you guys can see, will it be low, will it be high? We will not know until we put the car on the ground, so. Let's see what happens. Thank you to the guys over at Max Feeding Monster Blessings for these callovers. They also blessed you guys as well with a 10% discount code that will be linked in the bio along with the callovers that we had gotten. screws no nah. because i've done that before <laughs> but, uh, you hit hair or you hitting hair both that's crazy but you know i got the <laughs> <laughs> Another piece broke? Bro, if I ran out of rotor, bro, I'd be sick. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is what it took <laughs> to take the rotor out. That was crazy. All right, so we got all the coilovers on, all around the car. Sean is changing the rear rotors right now. I'm putting on 
some brake clips, some brake sensors, I should say. And then we're gonna change the front tie rods because the ball joints are cooked, as you guys can tell. So I'm gonna change all of that. We honestly did not really adjust the front suspension, so we're just praying that it's not too low. But besides that, it should be good. And then once everything is on the ground, we'll give you guys a test drive and give our thoughts and opinions of the coilovers. This is you. And then this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sean's putting the wheels on right now. We just changed the tire rods. We didn't really align it. We just gave it like an eye alignment. Um, we're gonna go in the car and make sure the steering wheel straight and then see how far off we are and see if we could just adjust it while it's like this. All right, so we got new tires all around. We got new rear brakes and we have new suspension. You did the, you did the control ones before, right? So we have new control arms, we got new tie rods. It's looking kind of good. Let's see what happens when we load on the car. It doesn't look that low in the air right now. So we're hoping that it's not too low. All right, so we're gonna do some YouTube magic and put the interior back in the car. And just like that, we got the interior back in the car. Yeah, the back of the car is mad high. <laughs> we are going to adjust it, but we're contemplating if we should do it now or wait till we get new wheels. So we'll see what happens. Um, the car still needs more work. It needs wheel bearings all around and it needs camber arms in the rear. So it's definitely going to be more work being done to the car. That is now day two. And as you can see, the car is still mad high so we're about to lower the rear and get a little bit more even with the front this fitment is cooking me <laughs> it looks like that that one that one car that was at the track that was just mad lifted in the back it looked like it had fucking 275s <laughs> 275 75 on the car Doing? The car is like two inches high in the rear. And you gotta bring it back up. But I'm tired. You mean you gotta lower it? Yeah. Oh, I said <laughs> bring it back up. Yeah, bro, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> so, what, what part are we lowering? Just the rear for now. I no, what, what part of the rear? What part of the rear? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't even know what you mean by that. We should just max out both. Huh? This is kind of already maxed out, but anyways, we're gonna be lowering the oh, strut. Should we just start with the strut? Yeah, we're just gonna lower the strut. I think, I think we should just leave this as is. Should we have left the bolt in so we could loosen this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can can hold it. The, the tools are in the car for that. Oh, you see that, he man. Hold on, I'm about to put it back in right now. That's, that's what she said. That's what she says all the time. That's bad. Oh. She she's not supposed to say that all the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I hope you have the locking tools. All right, so we're about to go up three inches. We measured it already. We're going to see what happens. So we ended up doing two inches instead of three. Let's see how it's looking. <laughs> that was a lot of roll just now. It's definitely lower. I think it's just a wheel thing. That's a lot better though. Yeah. <laughs> this side is high. 
that. So these coilovers come with dampening. I think the adjustment is 24. So I think we're gonna do like 12 just to make it even all around. We are on test drive number two with all the suspension put on the car. Car feels a bit more sturdy, but it's a bit bouncy. We don't know if it, that's preload or if that's just, it needs to be adjusted a little bit better. So we'll figure that out, but it does feel better than what it felt like before. Way better though. If we went over any of these bumps right here, we would have touched ground already. This, boom, ground. <laughs> <laughs> Shock, that's the problem. We should have left the shock alone. <laughs> we have much spring adjustment left. Probably gotta let it down just a little bit more. I don't know, maybe I should have read the instructions that came with it, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe they posted a video because it's so not right. And the wheel bearing, the wheel bearings are fucked up. Yeah, so the wheel bearings are cooked. Replace the wheel bearings like next week, week after next. And then we come back to this, we'll revisit and this we'll, issue. And we'll give you guys a, a full review of when everything's sturdy. <laughs>